Hello, everyone. My name is Moses Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot. But before we go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only. Investing comes with risk. To read more about it, please see the description below. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head directly to IncomeInvestors.com. And while you're browsing the website, you could also sign up for some free reports that we offer to our readers, and these reports get delivered to your inbox. The yield on the U.S. 10-year Treasury bond was recently around 5%, which sent stock and growth investors to exits, seeking the lower risk of short-term cash equivalents. But there's still income alternative to bonds that provide capital appreciation, potential, and tax advantages. Entero Midstream Corp, traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol AM, is one of them. John? Thanks, Mo. You're totally correct. The $6 billion market cap company is a full-service midstream energy business that operates in the active Appalachian Basin. Its assets comprise gathering pipeline and compression facilities. It also has interest in processing and fractionation plants, as well as water handling systems in the Marcellus and the Utica Shale regions. Entero midstream stock price reached a 52-week high of $12.75 recently on October 18th, up by an S&P beating 15.3% in 2023. And how is Entero doing financially, John? Well, Ontario Midstream Corp's revenue picture has been largely consistent over the last four years with revenue growth in two of those years. In 2022, its revenues came in at a record high $990.7 million. Analysts estimate that the company will soon surpass the $1 billion revenue threshold, generating $1.4 billion in revenue in full year 2023. This is expected to be followed by a further 8.9% revenue increase in 2024 to $1.13 billion. What about its profitability? On the bottom line, Antero Midstream generated profits in 2021 and 2022. Others followed losses in 2019 and 2020. Company's flat 2022 EPS likely prevented the company from raising its dividend that year. But there's optimism that its dividend will begin to ramp higher. Analysts expect Antero Midstream Court to report higher earnings of $0.78 cents per diluted share in 2023, followed by $0.94 cents per diluted share in 2024. Moving over to the company's fund statements, Ontario Midstream Corp has been a cash flow machine, which allows for dividends and share buybacks. The company estimates that its adjusted free cash flow after dividends will increase by $5 million, actually, to between $135 and $155 million in 2023. The current high interest rate environment will have an impact on the company's margin and costs, but it's not a, a big concern. The company's balance sheet held debt of $3.3 billion at the end of June. Now, Ontario Midstream Corp is Petrosky score, which is an indicator of a company's balance sheet, profitability, and operational efficiency, is a relatively strong 6.0, which is well above the score's range of 1.0 to 9.0. Entero Midstream has paid a dividend for the last seven years. Yeah, for income investors, uh, Entero Midstream stock has paid dividends in seven straight years. The company currently pays a quarterly dividend of 0.225 per share, representing a dividend yield of 7.4%. That's double the current inflation rate of 3.7%. The high-yield dividend is not a fluke or result of a tanking share price. Entero actually has a long history providing an ultra-high-yield dividend with a trailing annual dividend yield of 7.13% and a five-year average dividend yield of pretty massive 12.58%. Its payout fluctuates, but thanks to a strong cash flow generation, it's well-positioned to increase its dividend over the coming quarters. John, thank you so much for your analysis. Entero Midstream stock has a decent amount of institutional ownership with 443 institution holding 52.9% of its outstanding shares. Companies insiders have a 29.5% interest in the outstanding shares. That's high, which should in incentivize the company to deliver better results. Given Entero's corp higher expected earnings over the next two years, the potential for a company to raise its dividends are relatively high. The company's ability to grow its revenue and free cash flow should be attractive to income investors too. That's it for today. We'll be back with another video soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.